Hey guys, this is Adam, Burns Cadillac kind of Chevrolet. Today, let's take a look at the all new 2019 Cadillac CTS V. I know you're gonna ask me what the V stands for. I don't know, velocity, sounds pretty cool. But what I do know is that this is Cadillac's version of a true sports car. It's got a 6.2 liter supercharged engine, 640 horsepower. You're gonna notice from the outside, there's gonna be a lot of difference between, differences between your standard Cadillac CTS. Of course, we're going to start with the hood. You're going to see the carbon fiber inserts. You're going to see a true actual filter system that scrolls through here. You're going to also see that this mesh grill is different. Now, these are standard, but it's the front parking sensors. I always like to talk about it. And, of course, you've got a far, far carbon fiber splitter up front. It's really low to the ground. It's designed to be because it is a sports car. Come around here to the side. You're going to see that it's got um, a different style wheel. You won't find this on any other Cadillac besides the CTS-V. One thing I will point out is that they do notch it with the V down here on the wheel. On the side, you're going to see some vents. And, of course, the huge badge in for V on um, the Cadillac CTV, CTS-V. This is pretty much the same across the board here on CTS's. Um, proximity keyless entry. Of course, some lighting that will come out at nighttime. I've done a couple videos on that before. We're going to start with the lower side of this vehicle. You're going to notice that, of course, the carbon fiber circumference the back, but you're going to notice the two exhaust pipes sticking out the back. We'll start this puppy up and let you hear it here in a little bit as well. Rear parking sensors, of course, every camera known to man is on this car. It does have the rear vision camera, which is one of those buttons. You're going to notice that it does have the trunk release. It's got a true carbon fiber spoiler on the back makes the car really light i'll pop the trunk show you what it's like on the inside but it's pretty much like every other one you've seen one thing i'm going to point out is that with this amount of space in the trunk you can definitely have your sports car and i guess take it to the country club as well everybody's going to want to see you in it also one thing that this uh ctsv has is an ultra view sunroof this portion right here, of course, is the, is the sunroof that opens, and then you have a stationary sunroof in the back for your passengers. They'll be able to look out as well. A couple of things I'm going to point out in this back seat that you're going to find different is, of course, the leather suede combination seats. And now, hopefully I don't butcher this name, but I think it's called Saffron, so you're going to see it in the stitch in here as well. Let's just call it yellow to make it real easy. You're going to notice that the back of these seats have a suede feel to it. You're gonna also see that we got vents and all the controls for your passengers along with two USB charging ports. So um, the people riding, we definitely uh, have their multimedia um, facets. You're gonna notice this awesome looking V badging. Um, that's pretty sweet. Up in the door panel, you're gonna notice um, a different carbon weaved dash. It takes away, I think it adds a little bit. It takes out the wood is what I was trying to say. Um, aspect of most Cadillacs and adds in a little bit of sport to it. When you got a sports car, you want some sport to it. Now that we're on the inside of the CTSV, let me show you a little bit of differences um, between all the rest of them. This is fairly much the same, leather wrapped steering wheel. This middle section leans more towards the CT6. You're going to notice it's a little bit smaller. It's also got some suede. It's also got the V emblem at the bottom of the steering wheel. Radio controls, audio controls. We got a couple of paddles behind here for um, for your rev matching. When you, if you plan to take it on a track, to my left, I do have some heads-up display. Right in the center here is a digital display. I'm going to hold down the button to pull it back up, and you're going to see that it's all digital. Um, pretty much anything you want can be customized on this screen. I think it looks great, and of course, the CTSV symbol is right dead in front of you. Pretty awesome look there come here and notice that most of this is fairly similar to you you do have a automatic cup holder push it one way it opens push it the other way it closes it's got some selector modes for um, the type of driving you want to do the shifter is about the same all these controls here is for your climate controls heated cooled seats the feature I always say is really nifty and nifty and I do love it it's the fact that I can touch the bottom of that it pops up I have a charging port inside here, along with a place I can actually hide some valuable stuff. Touch it again, and it closes. You're going to notice up here, I've got the lane keep assist. I've also got the ability to park myself, well, the car park itself, and then all your um, parking sensors, electronic glove box, along with a padded dash that does have uh, leather up here. Um, and something I must mention, 
I always forget to mention is the fact that these things are swipe. Just like an iPad or just like an Android tablet. Super simple and made real easy to do. It's got the rear vision camera. It's also got the home link system. And it's got the buttons for the sunroof that I mentioned earlier. So I can open up the shade or I can just, um, just open up the sunroof itself. And guys, this is where the magic happens. This is where all the supercharged 6.2 liter uh, V8 you're going to get. 640 horsepower, I mentioned before. They do um, make this thing look awesome here. The cover has the V badging. You also got the brace bar in the back. Um, this is where everything Cadillac can put into a race car goes. I mentioned that the um, air vent is fully functional. You'll notice that you can see through here. So it is a fully functional air vent. It's not just for show. It's there for work. 